In this video obtained by KMTV Action 3 News, posters make a plea to students for help catching the person accused of starting fires in bathrooms at Millard North High School. I don't think anybody has like a lead to who it is. On May 2nd, someone set fires to toilet paper, filling areas of the school with smoke, forcing an evacuation of all students and faculty. Now we learn from numerous sources, both adults and students. This is one of four fires investigators believe were set by the same individual within a week. We spoke with eight students about the aftermath. Three agreed to talk on camera. They were like escorting everybody out of lunch, like first and second lunch. They would escort all the kids back to their classrooms. I've seen stepped up security everywhere. Um, that we have to have passes everywhere we go, no matter what. They have policemen, like, checking in the bathrooms. Like, there's lots of teachers sitting outside of the bathrooms. At one point, Emily Ryan says administrators considered her a suspect. They pretty much just asked me, where were you? What were you doing? And I was actually at lunch with my mother. Most of the fires started during lunch. One witness to a fire tells me it appears the arsonist uses an unknown fuel in a tin of tobacco to act as a fuse. He lights it and sets it on top of the toilet paper dispenser. The arsonist then locks the door to the stall and slides out the bottom. Sometime later, the toilet paper catches fire and the person who set it is long gone. It's scary, you know, knowing that he could kill thousands of people if it spread like wildfire. For now, administrators, police, and fire investigators put a stop to lingering in school hallways. Since then, the fires stopped. Even so, the arsonist is likely walking the hallways of Millard North, hiding in plain sight among your children. They could be sitting right next to us. We have no idea. The fact that that kid is still out there, if it's a boy or a girl or whatever grade, they're still in the school. I hope they catch him, but it's going to be tough.